Hello and welcome back to Shire Farm. It is now March 1 and we've just made, what's that, 20, 40, 50, 52, 53 grand on milk sales for the month. We are starting early, it's only now 6 o'clock. We started feeding the cows this morning and putting fresh bedding in at 5 o'clock just to make sure we had enough day to get done what we need to do over the next two days. It's going to be so busy. March, April, May, we have got a lot of crops to get in the ground, a lot of ground to get ready. We're going to be so busy. At the end, or between these two episodes, I've been busy as well. Um, I've done one 90 odd percent trailer run at the end. I took out four trees and already this morning, well, a little bit of last night and then this morning another four trees it was eight trees from that small southern spot on field 34 that are gone and that's probably what i'm going to take off that the main ones i think i need to get rid of are the ones at the top of it and they'll disappear you know throughout the, the coming episodes until we're ready to merge them fields they'll, that'll be a thing like I say, we need to get rid of trees down this way where we're going to be putting our beets in, which is part of, you know, the next few days' work as well. So we made about, was it 230, 235 grand, something like that, from those wood chips. We should make roughly the same on these ones. But as well as the trees, you'll see, I've been busy building on the farm. Building a new farm hella busy again I do it off screen because I never know what I want to do and I'm not very good at the time lapse building stuff because I'm not very good at the building stuff full stop so we'll get this in this normally takes a while so we'll uh, we'll jump see what we make and uh, we'll get on with the episode 220,000 plus 10 for environmental score. Let's go. So a few little changes that I've made to the main farm is some big lights. I think going forwards I'm going to need to be starting my day at 5 and probably work until late just to make sure I get the cows fed in between or at the start and the end of each episode or at the start and the end of each day even sort of mid episode even if I cut it out or just show the actual feed going in or something but we need to be able to work later so we've got some big lights excuse me i'm gonna lose my voice as always as i'm about to record got some big spotlights on the farm but i've also set up they've only just gone out because we've now got daylight at seven set up some spots on the clamps so for when it comes to filling and compacting later on i'll be able to do that and you know i can i can get a good view in here whilst we're doing feed and things like that so I, c I can do more around the farm when I want to when I need to so the next or the first job for today is going to be setting up workers um, I think we can actually I get a tight enough turn go this way through um, setting up workers to plough up the two small fields that I'd forgotten about up in the far corner and in doing this we'll also get to have a little look at what I've, what I've produced overnight. Now this field, for the life of me, I cannot remember what I said we were going to put in here. But because we've run out of chicken feed, we've got nothing to feed our chickens, they are going empty and hungry at the minute. I, am, I thought I had a... we've got a gap in the bush over there. Um, so I knew I had a spot somewhere. Yeah, we're going to plant wheat. I need more feed for chickens on a regular basis. They, they keep running out. I know we're using our wheat for flour and stuff like that, but we need it to feed chickens, so we need to produce more of it. So we're going to be planting wheat in there. Now, over here, this. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> no grand reveal for this. This is going to be my grape and olive sort of farm we've got these silo bins these hold grapes they don't hold olives i don't think there is a silo bin that hold olives if there is let me know because it would be very handy 
we do have our oil production factory that I need to check in on and whether it's actually producing oil from what we've put in there earlier. But we've got two of these. These hold quite a bit, but I think we could get quite a few quite a few grapes out of it. I don't know. We've got our factory that's producing juice, which can take the uh, the grapes to make grape juice, I think. Uh, I've got some liquid storage herbicide and fertilizer. They've got nothing in at the moment, so we'll uh, purchase and fill those up. We've got ourselves some sheds. I'm not sure how much equipment we're going to need up here, but since we've got extra fields and stuff, we can spread stuff around. So we've got ourselves some, some nice... This one is a repair one as well, but we've got ourselves some nice shed here. Lancer Boy Shed. Everything's fitting in with the theme of the rest of the farm. Got a small machine bale shed arched one here as well. I've already brought the machinery over. Did that in the dark overnight. We've got our olive harvester in here. I don't even know how you use that. I'm not even sure. I'm, I'm sure you can. Can you use workers for olives? Like, and, and the grape machine, can they do that? Have to make sure you get that super straight, wouldn't you? And then we've got another, another shed here. So if we need to, we can store a lot of stuff up here. We can get some more trailers and, and maybe another big tractor up here for, for hauling and stuff like that. We could even keep... Um, some or, or at least one of those large um, auger bins up here. I don't know. We need to do more. We need to be doing more. I'm going to be buying. Didn't smooth that out very well, did I? We're going to be buying another tractor this episode. At, at least one more. Because um, well, it's just it's spreading out now, and I don't want to waste a lot of my day just driving about. We want to be able to jump and, and get on with things. I'll put a track in down here eventually. But what I need is a worker on this field. I've not set up a course play for them yet, so we'll do that. Let's delete whatever they had before. I've got a sticky clutch, so you might find that today um, we get a lot of uh, start engine because I've turned off the uh, easy start. I don't have it automatic because obviously I like to turn the engine on off myself, but you get, the tractors keep rolling. So that has changed. So did it to the negative increases. So if we go, yeah, because last time we missed out a fair old bit of field. So if we generate, Get them to start at the first waypoint. Off you go. They're going to do that. They are going to be busy. Once they've finished in this field, we'll set them off in the the other one down there. But today, we place our olive vines, or whatever they're called. And they're going to go in this first one. Grapes are probably going to go over in the second one. And then, depending on how well they do... We'll plow up. They're going to get ploughed up. They're going to get fertilised, and then they will have one will be grapes, one will be olives. We'll, we'll sort of do something like that. So if I move myself out of the way, I don't even know where orchards. There you go. It's called an orchard, <laughs> olive grove. There we go. Right now, I have free free F R W -E, free fences mod. Which meat, which also gives us free olives and grapes. That's not like an intentional thing. I, not that I didn't want to pay for it. We've worked hard enough to build the money up, but that's just how the tool is working. So if we go here, oh, cameras. I am so good at this stuff. Have we placed that? I've just placed that. How is that thing that I've just done? That's not. There it goes. Gone. Right. I think it froze. So, try again. Find it. Like, there. Then I can track one of the ploughed rows, is what I'm thinking. Is it just too long? No, it just, just sort of times itself out a little bit.
I think that's sort of straight. Wow, they... they... And again, I don't even know how close these can really go. We're having a lot of them. And my only concern is that because I have a placement mod that allows me to place things inside each other or like really close that we could end up putting these too close so trying to be quite generous in doing this Ooh. don't know why it's doing that We've got a bit of a gap between there, so we know that there's plenty of room. That's a little bit off as well, but that's fine. So we'll uh, we'll go again. I'll fill this whole field up. You don't need to watch me do this. It's now 8.30. Let's see how long it takes me. Okay, so an hour later, and they're all planted. Now that would probably cost an absolute fortune. So, I am going to deduct from my money 250 grand? Is that not enough? Is that is that too much? I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know if, if that's not enough, if I should have deducted more. Now, we're going to only put the olives in. Next year, we'll do the grapes, and then we'll have olives and grapes on the go next year. And, say, and then the following year... We'll have these worked up. We might even, I don't know, work that in. Might do something else with them first since we're plowing them up. Or they might just be ready. Ready and waiting. But anyway, we've got that one done. Now, it wasn't until, like, the last few, probably about here, that I realised if you just clicked it again when it was green, it stuck at the perfect distance. So some of these are much further apart than they need to be, but it'll work. There's a lot. There's a lot of olives. Anyone that has done olives that's watching, is this going to be financially beneficial? Whether we sell them as the olives, or if we put them through uh, the olive oil press factory thing, is that quantity worthwhile? Right, let's take away the money. So, we want remove money. There we go. 250 grand. Gone. So I think what you also need to do then is learn, research, find out what the process is for olives. And I'm sure as many of you know, that can be found in the pause menu. Down here under help, uh, grapes and olives. So, grapevines and olive groves are planted in rows. Use build mode to have done that. Place a row by clicking free space on your land. Did that, did that. Just drag, repeat this. Right. To gain full yield, you need to mulch, cultivate, and fertilize between the rows. Special tools are found. Yeah. Once the grass is growing high, use the mulcher to keep the space between the rows clear. Cultivate after. Okay. Once grown, harvest your olives and grapes with the special tools. Yep. Productions will sell them. Remember to prune the grape vines after the harvest. So we don't need to worry about that. So the olives will just keep growing. The grapes you have to prune for them to grow back. So we need to... So now they're new. The new ones. Do I need to... Hmm. Mulch, cultivate, and fertilize between the rows. Once the grass is growing high, use the mulch to keep the space between. Okay. So, if I run back over, do I need to cultivate between these rows now? And is that grass considered high or low? Again, I don't know. Haven't got a clue. Have not the foggiest. We may have to do some tidying up of all this around here, but we'll we'll worry about that later. 
I'm concerned about that now. Shall we? Or shall I? I've got the mulcher and the cultivator attached um, to the, the fen, I believe. Where I brought them up here. And should I spray them straight away as well? See, I just don't know. How does it look on the map? Honestly, I'm, no joke, I've not done anything with this crop. With any of these uh, new crops. Does it show up as grass between them? No. Okay, so they are growing. If I get rid of that. Yeah, don't know about that. What it wants from us needs plowing. They've been plowed. Why does it say they need plowing when we've plowed them? That's mental. Right. I think we'll do that. I'm going to jump in our fence. We'll get that for a little bit. I've got a sticky accelerator at the moment. That is what my issue is. Now, I'm, I don't even know if this is powerful enough to run both of these at once, but we can give it a crack, can't we? We can, we can, for something new. Something completely new, people. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Exciting times. This is actually, uh, actually quite exciting. Now, do I go just inside? Do I need to go outside on the other one? I just lower them all. So we just roll forwards. And if I turn the mulcher on, let's see what we do. Well, it's sort of doing something, isn't it? The grass is still there. We'll do it. I'll go, I'll go up and down. That's what we'll do. We'll have a little uh, up and down session on this. Could be fun. Let's see. Let's see. We'll see. This is honestly, this is completely new. Probably like say, <laughs> over two years into the game, two years into the game, and uh, this is the first time that I've done this. Awesome. It's got to be worthwhile. Shirley. Who's Shirley? Right. I want to smash this out. We haven't had one in a long time, I don't think. Let's have a time lapse of me doing this. Okay, well I'm now starting. <laughs> this weren't the greatest idea. This is absolutely huge. It's taken a good while. It's always at now nearly three o'clock. I'm not yet halfway through. To be fair, next time round, there won't be all the faff of placing and I can get stuck straight into just taking care of the rows, I know. But that's it. This is a good day's work here. I did switch over our worker. I will have to go around and tidy up that field as well because I do miss bits from where the crop is actually out of the field and a little bit where it's turned but we need to get that old corn out. So we will do that. And while I was baffled about with that I also went and had a look at our extended um, oil plant and it isn't working. It's still saying not enough room or not, not enough space I think is what it says. And it hasn't 
produced anything. We still have 141,000 litres of uh, canola in there. I have, you'll notice some of the money has gone down. I did even press the um, upgrade on it to see if that would make any difference. And it still says the same, a little bit like the um, straw hat production thing did. So I think maybe it's just not compatible with um, upgradable uh, factories mod. That might be the issue. I don't know. So I will have to sell that because we do need an olive plant or an oil plant. Sorry. So I shall uh, just quickly do that while you guys are with me. Here it is. Soybean oil out of space. So looking at that from sort of build mode, I'd say with the length of some of the other rows, we are about a third of the way through. So three hours, this is a third of the way through, so it will be a day to do that. Next time, like I said, it won't take so much with all the faff in. And let's be honest, we've got a few days to do it in, really. I think as long as we do all that in the in the growth or the planting period, I think we'll be good. Like it doesn't all have to be done at once. So if I sell this, hopefully it will sell the canola as well. Yes. Oh, we lost the canola. I think, oh, I don't know, 129 grand. We might have got the canola sold with that as well. So if we put in a standard oil sugar mill Taylor where is standard oil mill I have to go and put me uh, markers on just so I know what I'm doing so really wants to be there like that that should be fine also we've n annoyingly the well we're going to direct sell anyway or yeah we'll direct sell so that's it's going to go there yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the unload bit is a little bit annoying that it's there like that. But anywho, oils oils is down. We've got something else on the go, and we're gonna quickly where we can go round. Um, we will have to turn uh, create fields on just so we can trim into the edge here because where where the corn is actually on the grass. I mean, it's not going to affect our field, but it just doesn't look good. Get rid of that. Back up again. If I turn the speed limit on, we can go a bit quicker. Uh, I, I even turned the speed limit um, real speed mod on for the uh, the mulcher and the, and the cultivator. Obviously, it's in a small tractor, so pulling the cultivator and powering the, the mulcher on the front we, we managed to get I think like 8 if we were lucky 8 miles an hour obviously next time around as well we don't need to cultivate at the same time I think it will just be mulcher when the grass is longer at the minute the grass isn't all that long anyway so it's not actually doing the mulcher but it's on there it's just might as well just leave it alone let it do its thing See, so yeah, I did go round the uh, the other field as well and tidy that up. Trying to get it done. The things we do for neatness. The obsessive things we do for neatness sometimes. More the point. I get that patch in the middle there. Even with the overlap, we still didn't couldn't get everything, and we extended um, the field edge for course play. Now I haven't tried a worker going up and down the vines. Once we've done this, that's what I'm going to do. I'll try a worker on the vines, see what that does. Whether they will acknowledge other things, and also is there for those that have done it or experienced with it, 
is there a course play route or something that I could stay in course play to help get course play to, course play to cultivate and mulch and do within the the olive groves and the and the grapevines. I guess if you had it set perfect, which by now we now know that it was set perfect. I guess if you set it to skip a row, maybe it would work. I think because I've got some really wide gaps, it wouldn't skip the road. It would just drive into the next, into the next one, because it wouldn't be a road to skip. I'm sure, I saw some more in the middle here somewhere. There we go. Once I've done this, I'll leave the uh, the plow and the, oh, I'll leave the JCB up here until I head back. We will we will see if what we can do with workers. That's going to be our our next little bit. Extend this a section. Yeah, with that being so big, I don't think we'll need extra. It's I'm not about working time if I can't get other things to work for me. So. These may just become other fields. I'll see what we can put into the olives. Um, some, ooh, some flowers and stuff. This could be working for that. Maybe up here. Should have then put the production up here, but never mind. So we'll stick this. Park up over there. Yeah, I've got a feeling I need to mulch both sides. So, or at least cultivate both sides. So the ones where it's a little bit too wide, I'll probably have to go to go down, up and down that same space. But also I'm thinking with such uh, a large quantity, um, we won't have to worry about that. We can, so we're going to get that engine start thing. Yeah, I'm thinking we might not have to worry so much about the yield just because we've got a large quantity so um, yeah but I don't know if we have to cultivate for it to grow or if we ignore a cultivation one year will they still grow and obviously the mulching is just to tidy it up but the mulching should be a bit easier I would have thought I don't know if, if you've done olives, if you've done grapes would love a bit of feedback down in the comments guys I will need all the help I can get with doing this. But, as we approach the end, I'll turn my worker on, just a normal standard worker, and see what they do, because there's plenty of field at each end to turn and manoeuvre. So we'll see if they register that it is olives or not. And uh, we'll see how they work. I mean, it doesn't need mulching but the cultivator should still trigger it to uh, go up and down. And is it going to go all the way to the end of the bloody field? Yeah. And that's it, they're done. They're not, they're not registering that. So this is a 100% me job as well then at the minute, unless course play has a mode for uh, this. So I think what I'll do is I will crack on with some more of this, obviously. This is for me to do. Probably do this until it gets dark. And then tomorrow, we're going to try and get started on planting our sugar beet. So I shall see you in the morning. So we're starting again at 6 o'clock today. We have got 20, 30, 40 grand. We've made less milk. Not quite sure why we got less milk. We've got less milk. I managed to get about another five or six more rows before it started to get dark. Uh, we need to feed our cows again today, but I want to head up to the store and uh, yeah, we need to buy a planter and I want to get a big tractor. So let's get up there and do that. So for a planter, I think we're going to go with. I'm going to surprise you. We're going to go with something out of the horse pack. Give it a crack. Uh, we've got the the Maestro 
150 SV and hold 9,000 liters. Is that? That is seed and fertilizer. I don't know what the split is on that. Um, so we can have that. We're going to have to take that all the way back to our farm to fill up. We're not going to buy all them seeds and stuff. We've got loads at the farm. Just want to look at some wheel choices. Continentals. Wheel set up. Well, oh, quite like wide. I'm good with that. So yeah, we're going to buy that. And that requires 350 horsepower. So we're going to be dipping into the large tractors. And that was 200 grand, by the way. So 350, we're going to want a biggie. We've probably got uh, something in like the, uh, ooh. How about this bad boy? 500, a big old fen. We very rarely have a fen. We can now have two. We could put the uh, compact on there. We'll pay for GPS. We'll put some wheel weights. Do we do wides with wheel weights? Michelin's. Widen weights. Yes, 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 yes. And I think that's what we'll go with. It's base game. But it's going to work for us. 500 horsepower. What's that? 400 grand. Put a little light on. So these are our booties. The the Fent one, oh, should we say 1050, 1050 Vario. Absolute monster. I think we could have got a Black Beauty version of that. I'm sure I have. Obviously the, the new horse. So we're going to have to get this all the way back to the farm. To bring all the way back up it. But in time, once we've got those trees cleared, I will have another farm plot up this end and it'll have everything we need for beets and potatoes hauling beets and potatoes, planting, harvesting everything we could possibly want up this end so let's just get this back because we've already paid for it not keep talking out the stuff we've already brought it's bad enough I've got the uh, <laughs> fertiliser that I'm hardly ever going to get through it'll take 7,000 litres of fertiliser and 2,000 litres of seed. I may even get a, another small tractor and just put a, like a field uh, seed tender on it so we can just drive out, save having to bring this all back to the farm for now because we're going to run out because we've got three rather large fields to plant and it's going to take a while It's going to take a bloody good while. <laughs> it's going to take all day. And then what little time we have left at the end of the day, I'll jump back in over on the olive groves and we'll mulch and we'll cultivate. Get some more of that done. And then I'll hopefully have enough time to feed my cows again. And then in April, we've got a big field of wheat to plant. And we're going to see if we can get some, we need to get some corn in the ground, some sunflowers in the ground got busy busy few months we'll, we'll check on all the time scales in the uh, in the growth calendar uh, probably at the start of the next episode don't want to waste any more time on this episode but we already have all these all these trees need to go need to get rid of all of them The, the two, those two fields are getting planted and this one over here is getting planted today, hopefully. Unfold it. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm at least going to do the first one all by myself. We, uh, we may put some course play on or just some workers on to do some of the others, but this one will be all me. Have a go with our new toys. It would be wrong not to. So have the other. Oh, the other two have got um, slurry on. This one we manure spread. We're on beets. We are on. Let's see how this goes. This has got a little bit of um, <laughs> rough grass around here, here as well. We'll try and drive over it. It'll, it'll plant over it. That's not a problem. Yeah, I think this is a decent setup. 
we had a, we had a similar horse in uh, 17 and 19 and this one's just got extra extra detailing on it probably a newer model but we had we had a horse maestro before we planting You know, my my, uh, my personal grievance with it is that it's just to me is it's just not new enough to warrant like the the whole DLC thing. That's that's my issue, and I know others hate me for it. And you know what? They're free to do that. Some people agree with me, and they are free to do that as well. But I just I just think we've had we've had three horse packs, or we've had two horse packs prior, and to just keep recycling it as something. And I know it's not the same. It's a horse pack. It's, you know, to me it falls in the same bracket as Call of Duty recycling guns that you have to keep paying for, paying for skins, the exact same skins every every game. So it's not new, and I don't pay for them either. I think they're stupid. I have all the DLCs because I buy the um, season passes. I had the first year season pass in my pre-order as soon as second year come available. I have it, and um, I will get the the next expansion that has the new map and the new crops on as well because I enjoy playing the game. But that's also why I feel I can I can voice my uh, disapproval with it, <clears throat> especially when we pay in advance for a lot of the stuff so you pay for your season pass and you don't know what's coming and that's like the, the argument of oh you don't have to you have to buy it if you don't like it but if you want it at a good price you do you do buy it and if you are someone like myself who likes to buy everything and they like to try and support the games and you know especially as a Giants partner you should really have all the stuff anyway it'd be nice it'd be nice to not feel like you got a bit conned every time I, you know, personally, I've not been impressed with the uh, the extra content at all this time around. The wheel pack was nice. Um, the pumps and hoses, pumps and hoses wasn't giants, and the wheel pack does bring its own issues in. You'll find with certain maps, and certain mod maps, and it's up to the modders to update, but it does seem to cause issues. And it broke my favourite mod, that was the uh, Round Veil extension mod. That was never on the mod hub itself, I found that elsewhere. But it broke that. Ooh, it sort of spoiled bailing for me, and I like bailing. It due some rain. It said rain yesterday, and we didn't get any rain while I was mulching and, and cultivating. We didn't get any rain overnight. So the rain must be coming sometime this morning. I didn't even check the weather forecast. Not that rain is really going to stop us from, from doing this. I'm just going to turn the uh, beacons off. Yeah, rain shouldn't stop us from doing this. Now I've got a feeling this is going to be a massive, massive episode again. So uh, we're going to have another little time lapse on here. Now, I'm not sure what it's going to give me as a work at speed if I turn... Let's close them up. It's only working on 10, 10 miles an hour, probably a bit quick. But I've got three fields to do today, and we are doing a little bit of noise on this series, so I'm going to run that, and uh, we shall go up and down our field. We'll get this one done, and if I can get it done in good time, I'll do the other one as well. So let's enjoy the horse doing its thing, and this beautiful new fence. What a beast! They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential, it's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you who are you to tell me how to live life in these times? It feels
feels like nobody's right, yeah. So I'ma figure out what else we succeed and then invest all of my time into that and proceed. I need whatever the hell could make me happy. And I don't think you have a clue what could that be. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something. Well, running real speed obviously made a massive difference. I think probably went twice. Twice the speed. I think we hit like 14, weren't we, at some, uh, at some points? Probably a little bit too quick. Oh, 7 to 10. 10 miles an hour would be alright. Perhaps we should set the, uh, the speed limit next time. But we've got just enough seed in here for this field. So I'll get this one done. I'm going to head back to the farm with this and fill it up. We'll then put a worker on it. We're then going to go back to the store. We'll buy uh, some sort of seed tender auger wagon type thing and a small tractor to run it. And we'll leave that up here with it. Uh, when we get a notification to say that the worker has stopped for whatever reason or stopped for a tanker or an empty tank sorry we can um, come up and fill it ourselves without having to drive that all the way back and while the worker is doing this we will we'll have to go back to the uh, the the olive groves i think also i can't remember if we placed our uh, sugar plant or not? For the life of me, I can't think of a place to sugar plant. We wanted one. I know that we wanted one. I don't think we did. We have a sell point for uh, oils that we placed to go with the extended oils. Might keep that. Just, oh, there's not a path there, is there? Might keep that just so there is a, an extra little point for oils. When we do sunflower, olive, and whatever the other one is. I think canola, because we were doing soybean oils, weren't we? That's what we were trying to do. So anyway, I'll get this back, we'll get this filled up, set a worker on it, and um, I'll meet you at the store when I'm buying the little tractor and some sort of seed tender walker wagon. So for a uh, field seed tender, we're just going to get a simple Lizard 3500. It's uh, six grand of paint at red, so we're going to pay an extra hundred dollars $100 as we're saying at the minute, but that's what it's going to be. And to pull it, we're just going to get the uh, this little old Massey Ferguson 165s 4x4, and that's going to cost us 35 and a half grand. And here they be, and these will be probably permanently hooked up just for... Uh, sea tendon, that's all they will do. We could keep it at either farm, we could end up getting sets, who knows, but I think this is wicked. We don't have enough small or old type of equipment, probably could have done with a little uh, bull bar on that. Well, not a bull bar, but a, a tow bar. Hopefully. I'll be able to get that. That's the only issue I find sometimes when you've got to try and reseed out in the field is the angle. But we'll, uh, we'll get this down to the farm. We'll refill this off of our uh, seeds and then bring that down. Just park that up. This time it is now 20 past 12. Well, I don't know what happened there. I set a worker off <laughs> when I left and uh, they were still just sitting there. They're going now, but they were <laughs> they were supposed to be about halfway through the field. Annoyingly, it's now raining as I've got a load of seeds out just sitting here. I was going to move them under a tree. I'm not going to move them under a tree. What I need to do is stop faffing about because I've got them olives to sort out. I'll just have to keep an eye out on what's going on with that worker. If they stop or whatnot, we'll have to, uh, have to come back. Let's cycle through. Let's do a little bit of jumping. There we go. Right. Boot this up. I think we're gonna... Gonna maybe struggle in the rain. I don't think that's gonna like it. Got this little tractor pulling everything. So yeah, this is how far we managed to get. Not very far. Got so much more to do. Turn the speed on. 
see if we can go a little bit quicker. Yeah, this is gonna, these are going to be uh, time consuming, aren't they? I think mean, if if you lay them right, you don't actually slow down as if you're cultivating. You, you do seem to go a bit quicker if that's like a, in that next row. It doesn't seem to register like a, a cultivating, cultivating sort of thing, if that makes sense. Whereas if there is the dirt in between, it does slow. See, as soon as we get a bit closer, it's not registering the gap in the fields. We can go a little bit quicker. So I'm going to do this for a little bit longer. We'll uh, we'll keep going until we get a notification from our worker to say whether they are empty or not. I think they should be... Uh, let's have a look at the field So That field is definitely bigger. Bring up your map. Yeah, so I did 30, 29, 29 is a little bit bigger, so I think they will require a top up. But from sitting around, that we're not going to get 28 done today, so 28 will have to be done tomorrow. I need 28 done tomorrow, oh, oh, there's every chance I've still got some more of this to do tomorrow as well. Um, we need to get our massive... Um, 8, 9, 10, 16 and 4 fields so that's, like I said before, that's going to be with wheat to make sure we've got the extra feed for chickens as well as for blue some flour we need to check on all our productions with regards to what's full, what's not double check what's working and what isn't different things are happening now so we can get some conflicts you know, I don't want to have to take out upgradable factories mainly because it allows us to make more money and, and, and fill things up more so yeah we'll just just not run factories that don't work with it I'm sure I don't know I'm sure I say I'm sure I don't I don't know whether uh, revamp productions would help if I, if I install that none of these have, have asked for revamp productions so that's why I've not installed revamp but I could look into that Looking at that, we've got we have a good chunk of the map now. We really do have a good chunk of the map, and we, we've got like half a million. We could buy a couple more fields again, but at the minute, we're trying to get this now running and the beets. I think it's just going to be a little while before I get another field. Uh, course play didn't want to work for me on um, field 29. I had that old issue that I, I brought up before. Whether I put it up here or whether it's on Maple or not, but once I get to like the third course plane in that session of me loading in, it doesn't like to do it. So we'd already done two course plays of ploughing. So then putting a third course play in, it, it doesn't doesn't work and I mean the simple fix is always to come out and come back in again. But this is this has already been like a, a two hour session for me, which is uh, quite a lot, so we keep coming in that again. Um, you know, still trying to manage my back. I know these are being spread right out, so it might feel like I'm banging on about it a lot, but it is quite a serious thing for me, so I do have to try and mind it where I can. And knowing that, you know, I've probably got another, another 40 minutes yet, possibly. Maybe not that long, but it's nearly 2 o'clock. I want to try, I'd like to try and get this finished though, so I am going to shut up and I'm just going to crack on with it. Like I say, I'll bring you guys back when we have to go and top up our worker, or when we finished here, or when our worker is finished. We'll see you in a second. You know it's late, you know it's getting late, because it's, <laughs> it's only just occurred to me that I am dragging ass on this job because I'm running the mulcher. And the mulch is not doing anything yet because the grass isn't growing. So, without the mulch running, I can run about 10 miles an hour with this cultivator on the back. Which, you know, is a bit quick. But we've got a lot to get through. And we're not worried about being a little bit quick. Looks really cool, though, driving uh, up and down the grooves like this. This is a nice way of doing it. I don't know why I didn't do it before. I did have a quick hop over. Um, uh, our cedar, uh, our fence, they've, they've still got over half a tank. They are, they're doing really well, getting through their job. 
like I said, I will try and tidy this area up and you know, get rid of some of that ploughed muck. I will leave a small, small area that does still show as ploughed because for me, who loses track of things very quickly, if I can't see where <laughs> the cultivator has come in, I will end up going up and down the same, the same road twice, without a doubt. But yeah, this is uh, a lot quicker. Just, just running the one tool, and I'm sure if we were just running the mulch tool without the cultivator on the back, then that would obviously be quick, quicker as well. So it's probably going to be, we're probably going to want to mulch this around about the same time as we have our our next grass cut and that's going to be for silage when we do that that's going to be to fill the clamp we're probably going to do two silage cuts to fill the clamp so we won't have a, a silage sale this year we'll, we'll do a silage we'll do we'll do back-to-back -back silages but just to fill the clamp if the clamp gets full overly full and um, we've got some left over then we can bail it we want to try and uh, have a full clamp, new full clamp, and then uh, the next, if we do a third cut this year, I don't think we will, but if we do a third cut this year, then that'll go to top up the hay, although, excuse me, we do have, we have plenty of hay, we've got a full shed of hay, and at least a third of what was supposed to be the straw shed is hay as well, we're slowly getting through it, it's like four, <laughs> four bales, every other day I think we're getting through some days a little bit more if I'm putting an extra top up feed in if I'm thinking right I might I might try and get through a day without topping up the, the cow feed that is so. so yeah it's gone well but yeah I thought I'd just uh, quickly come back and uh, share my newfound knowledge of stop mulch and when the mulch is not working um, I'm going to try and get to the end of this nice and quick now try and beat the cedar or the planter sorry see if we can beat the planter well, we've got quite a flood down this end. I'm just going <laughs> to dig up this side. Quite a flood down here. It's a shame that it doesn't have a real effect. That would be cool. It looks good when it's there, though, so there's that. And we're just churning it in. Did have quite a bit of rain. Did rain for a good while. Haven't had uh, a message from our worker yet, so they're still quite happy and comfortable out there. Another job that we will need to try and squeeze in, probably not straight away but soon, will be to uh, run the fertiliser sprayer through here. We did buy one. It's parked up next to our, our what did we get, Kubota. So we've got Kubota mate, we've got a little Kubota. Now there's a lot of shed space for what little equipment we have. They say it's a shame. I can't figure out how to get workers to do it. Because if not, we'd have two of everything and we'd have workers running it. It looks like Olive's army for a bit, at least. Oh. There we go, it's behaving itself today. Or for now, anyway. So, yeah, I did fill this up with fertilizer before I brought it up here. So, we're finally using some of that liquid fertilizer that we've had stored for about three years. Um, yeah, I don't think we herbicide spray. I don't think that's a thing with them. Um, what I might do is just stop my worker here. Open that up. Where is... Right, let's bring this round. Let's give this a fill. We've brought it. We're going to use it. if I just try and back right up next to it it's a shame it doesn't just sort of, I, I picked this one I thought it folded out the back straight it would be nice if it just would fold out the back straight so you just have to back in that way rather than trying to uh, pull up alongside now I'm not convinced that it's going to be big enough like the pipe wise terrible manoeuvre Mr Farquhar absolutely terrible Again, apologies if this is like <laughs> an hour long episode again. It's just so much to do now. This is not, not a good manoeuvre. I 
I think because it sits so high and so close to the Massey, because it's on the, uh, oh, bugger me, because it's on there rather than on the low bit. Let's go round. Pull up right next to it if we can. All the other way. All the way the other way. Come on. Stick the accelerator and help them. This doesn't allow me to go in reverse when I want to. It's a nightmare. My, my setup now is just turning an absolute nightmare. Things have stopped working, but <laughs> it's not going to reach, is it? This is so, so annoying. Right. You try and do something. Oh, yeah, it will register just about. Christ. Let's try and see if we can hold ourselves in place. There we are. It filled. We'll take that. We'll just stick this under the tree because we'll leave this around. Stick in this bush. <laughs> it's not very good, is it? Hopefully, no one will see it from the road. That'll be all right. Yeah, because we're going to want it to refill for the other one. Although it's going to, that's going to want to refill in its own right. I think so. Who knows? Now I also need to move my my tree removal set up to the other side of field 34 so I can take out some trees there overnight. We are a busy busy man. Honestly, so much to do. But I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off whilst finishing off this job myself because I want to have another little turn in the big fen. So yeah, next next episode I will have another trailer of wood chips. Hopefully, uh, this will be sown. We will uh, set a work up to sow the last of the beet fields. We will fertilise our olives, and we will try and get started on sowing some more wheat going to be busy going to be busy once that that planter is done in there we'll set them up to plant some corn or some sunflower somewhere as well if it is uh, you know planting time obviously but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this hopefully I've managed to turn this hot mess into something <laughs> worthwhile to watch if you have enjoyed it give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there guys you have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.